see what we can do here. Let's try something a little different. Oh, I got a fish. Oh, wow. Okay. That was quick. Oh, that's a bass. Hey guys, welcome back to Quinn Gem Adventures. So today we're on the lake again. We're on our way to a spot to go catch some fish. Target species today is walleye, but at the end of the day, as long as I'm catching fish, I'm gonna be happy. So we're gonna go to another spot of this lake. I got a little bit of paddling, maybe about a half an hour to get there. It's a deeper part of the lake, so I'm hoping I'll have some luck for walleye because it's right in the middle of summer. That's where the water's going to be cool. And that being said, it's kind of an overcast, overcast day. It is kind of cool. Water's 21 degrees Celsius, whatever that is in Fahrenheit. But, uh, but yeah. I'm just going to get back to paddling and catch up to you in a minute. Fish on. Fish on already. Oh, it's a little tiny walleye. All right. There we go. There we go. A little tiny walleye to start the day. Let's give this lure a try. Let's see what we can do here. Let's just try something a little different. Oh, I got a fish. Oh, wow. Okay. That was quick. Oh, that's a bass. Oh, he's fighting. Oh, he's going. Come on. Oh, crap. He's fighting good. I don't know if you guys saw the jump. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh. Oh, I lost him. Damn it. That was a big fish. Uh oh, man, I'm all tangled up. That was a good sized bass. I was barely in the water and I caught him. Oh. The only downside about kayak fishing, at least without having a pedal drive or a motor is when you're drifting I guess I could throw the anchor down but 
I don't know how long I'm gonna. Actually, I'm gonna paddle up to the middle of this channel here a little bit. And that way I've got some, I've got some room before I drift into the edge. Maybe I'll catch that big one again. Oh, fish on. Oh, he was on for a second. You know, the bass are definitely liking this lure. I really hope I caught that jip, that fish jumping out of the water on camera. That would have been so cool. All right, I'm gonna cast in a couple times here, but then I'm going to try and get to my actual destination. Just I am having some success here. And I'm here to fish, so I might as well fish. We're moving on. Okay, I know I said I was gonna head to my next destination. But I just passed over. It looks like a big kind of school of fish with some really big fish in there, according to the fish finder. Once again, whether or not I catch them, that's a whole nother ball game. But I can't pass that up. That's the only downside with the fish finder, is that you see something and then you're like, okay, I need to go and catch this now. Doesn't mean you're going to. So we got some deeper water here, so I'm just gonna paddle out here a little bit because the wind's kind of pushing us around. And we're gonna get the lure in the water. We have not had it in the water for about an hour because I was paddling. Traveled probably about maybe a kilometer. I should have checked before I swapped the batteries on my trip computer. Would have told me how far we went on that jaunt, but it's okay. I'm just gonna go back out here where the water's a little deeper. Oh, a little wind kicking up. It's gonna keep blowing us back this way, which is fine. Let's see if we can get some fish now. I got a jig all rigged up. down. Beautiful day out there. Forget to open the bail, you're a dummy.
All right, well, I gotta start heading back. Because all of a sudden the wind has kicked up out of nowhere. And, ooh, it's gonna be a hard battle to get back. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, this is gonna get interesting. <sighs> Looks like I'm not even moving. Holy crap. This will be helpful once I get back to the tip of the lake, but because it'll push me the way I want to go, but right now. Just gonna play it safe. Being out on the lake, you wanna take precautions, right? Especially when I pedal, or paddle power, right? Okay, but I do wanna keep an eye on the depth here. Get that fixed, there we go. Oh, wow. Stop paddling, you basically stop. Only the wind could change by like 15 degrees. Head a little bit more north. That'd be perfect. Right now it's coming from, I guess, due west. And I'm on a lake that's north south. Well, at least until the top part, and then it's I'm kind of heading east, so the wind going from the west is gonna help me okay we're starting to make some headway now that I'm not trying to go straight to the wind I almost want to get to the other side of the lake and then I'll be kind of shielded from the breeze from the trees but then I got to get over there I don't know how much energy it's gonna to take to actually paddle all the way across there well, I'm gonna point us that way, and we'll see what happens. All right, well, I got to the other side of the lake. I'm just gonna spin around here. This is like dead calm over here. It's still pretty deep. So I got a jig in the water now. Some fish right down at the bottom that I'm hoping I can entice into biting my lure. Apparently there's a couple of fish right below me. Now the wind's pushing me this way. Wind can't decide what it wants to do today. But if we just start catching some fish, now granted when it's windy I've heard that it's not the greatest time to be catching fish, don't know why, but it is something I heard. All right, well, I've just been kind of sitting here and as I was getting ready to go, just swapping batteries and such like that, the fish finder kind of lit up, so. I figured I'm going to throw some lures in here and see what we're going to find. Yeah, there's like a fish every like 10 seconds. Now granted, I still got to catch them. Ah. Which, based off stuff like that, is not promising. And actually, I need something that goes deeper because they're all about 78 feet deep. Yeah, that's not going deep enough. So let's throw that in there real quick. Oops. Oh, fish on. Oh, he took it. I didn't set the hook. That was my fault. Oh, wind's, ah, wind just keeps changing directions. It did start blowing me in the right direction. Then it uh, changed its mind again. Uh, it blew us out to where it's a lot deeper, so I'm going to scooch us back in here as soon as I pull this back in. 
Oh wow, it's spinning us 360 degrees here. I'm gonna get back into that shallow spot. We're gonna catch some fish. That's that's what we're gonna do right now. Holy crap, I already got a fish. Oh. Well, I had a fish. Oh, fish on, fish on, on. Okay, well, I have two or, okay. <laughs> I have an issue. He's still on. He's still on there. This is the little guy. All right. Where are you? It's something super tiny. Whoa. Okay. Never mind. What is happening? Holy crap. Okay. Well, whatever it is, it's fighting hard. I don't know what this is, but it's a... Oh, look at that! What do we got? Bass. That bass? Yeah, it looks like a bass. Oh, look at you. All right, you are getting in here. Crap, you're on the wrong side. Oh, you're beautiful. There we go. Finally. All right. Um, <laughs> you're the first fish I have netted in this kayak. So, all right, simmer down. Oh, I barely had him. Barely had him hooked. fishing rod out of here. There we go. Oh, you're spiky all over. There we go. Nice little bass. Oh, and we're about to hit the shark. We're about to hit the shore. I need to get rid of him quick. Oh, that was a mess. <laughs> oh. Oh, what a gong show that was. Oh, all right, Let's see if we can get another one. There we go, another fish on, another fish on. Oh, he's fighting hard. That's another, that's another bass, yep. All right, simmer down. Oh, yeah, buddy. Sam, oh, <laughs> Okay, he splashed me. What a jerk. Oh. I'll let him tucker himself out. Oh, he's going for a swim. You done? Another guy, little one. Come on, get out of there. It's number. Oh my God! <laughs> I had another one.
Fish up. Oh, he got off. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to the main part of the lake because it's starting to look a little, a little icky. Dark cloud isn't promising. It's really fun having this fish finder, actually. Got this from onlineoutfitters.ca. It's a company I'm kind of doing some, some work with. Pretty awesome stuff. They're adding more stuff to the website regularly. So, I did pay for this. They didn't give it to me, but they did give me a smoking deal. There's going to be some cool stuff coming from them as time goes on so keep an eye out on that link down in the description down below and go get your own fish finder not that it helped me a ton today well actually it did because when we were catching the bass over there uh the only reason i knew that they were there and i stayed there was because i saw it on the fish finder so it did help today some of my other fishing trips where i've taken it it hasn't helped i saw the fish but they wouldn't take my lure jerks yeah, I should have just stayed at that far end of that lake. Because it was getting deeper, which is good. Especially for summer walleye fishing. It's just that wind kind of caught me off guard. I didn't want to get stranded down there. It's not a place where I want to find out the limits of the kayak. So anyway, it's actually, uh, while I'm paddling, I don't think I've told you guys about the kayak. Um, so this is the Jackson Kayak Big Tuna. I think it's a 2013 model. So that's one of the years that they had the uh, this orange. Got it used uh, with a whole bunch of accessories, ram mounts, all that kind of stuff. So I've been trying to figure out how I want it laid out. So I've been playing around with it every time I go out. What's cool about the Big to Tuna is, is that since I've got a family, um, you can actually have multiple people in this kayak. So two adults at the bare minimum, but you could have kids in here too. I think the payload's like 500 and change. Now that does typically, if I remember correctly, you have to include the weight of the kayak. So that's the one trade-off with this guy, is that with no gear on it whatsoever, this kayak weighs like 92 pounds or 95 pounds, something in that neighborhood. So, it is a beefy kayak, but since I like to overpack when I go on a trip, it kind of works out. Now I got a ton of storage, so you can kind of see from my, uh, you can kind of see I got the portable fish finder over there. <laughs> I've got my GoPro batteries charging. Oh, I gotta steer around this rock. I don't want to bash into that. Uh, up next to the fish finder, I've got my net sitting there. I've got a duffel bag with some of my gear. Behind me, I've got my cooler, my tackle box. Got some stuff in the in the hold. Cause I wasn't sure if I was gonna end up catching some fish and be able to find a spot where I can maybe hit the shore and cook up some lunch. Obviously, that did not happen today. That's okay. I'm not done fishing, but I think my dreams of walleye are, are gone. We caught that one walleye right at the beginning of the morning, but he was a fish stick, so <laughs> not worth keeping. Whew. Oh, it got shallow all of a sudden in a hurry. Let's get over here. All of a sudden it went from six feet to two feet pretty quick. I knew that, knew that rock got shallow, but I thought I was far enough out. But yeah. Figuring out how to get this thing set up and how I want it. And I want to try and get out as much as possible. I've been trying to get out at least once a week. I've been taking the family out at least once a week on the kayak, which is awesome. So we have a couple other sit-on kayaks that they, the kids go on. And me and the wife take this one. So the seat, this seat actually would be sitting further back. And then there'd be another seat sitting kind of. Yeah, kind of actually right where my feet are right here. So, obviously I don't have all the fishing gear on there. 
when I do that, but. Very stable, works really good. Um, now, it, you can stand up in this, you can even stand up to fish, but I haven't really done it a whole lot yet. Yeah, so I'm gonna kind of head back up this little peninsula here to where, uh, where the last time I came here, I ended up getting, uh, uh, got one bass and got a lot of bites and then I was getting tired so I kind of bailed on the rest of that but uh, I'm gonna try and hit that spot again I did catch that's where I caught that bass that got off the hook this morning uh, it's the same spot right there so it's kind of nice that it's on the way out um, and it was around this time uh, that I caught it in my last video so it seems like bass bite all the time so I kind of Oh, it feels like they're a little easy to catch, so. It's kind of nice, though, heading back to where I want to go, and the wind's right on my back. I'm not quite ready to go, so if we could slow down a little bit, it'd be perfect. Oh, fish. Yep, oh, that's a fish. Whoa, he's jumping already. Holy crap. Stay on the hook, stay on the hook. Come on. Oh, he's going. Where are you going? Oh, he's jumped twice already. That's awesome. Oh, stay on the hook. Oh, yeah, that's... Come on. Holy crap, he is pulling. <laughs> he is fighting. Come on, buddy. Okay, let's see. I think I can get him netted now. Yeah. Hey, don't splash me. Get over here. Out of the way, paddle. Ah, come on. Get back. A little closer. There we go. There we go. Holy crap, this wind. Well, I'm going to be on the shore here in a second. Don't stick me. Woo, let's go. Nice bass. I'll put him over here. All right. Uh, now I'm hooked on my net. Sweet. That's right, my last spot. Another bars, another bars. They fight, they're fun. Oh, I keep forgetting to measure these bass. Got the measuring board right there on the ground to my legs here, but let's keep forgetting. Let's get us another bass. Or walleye. If a walleye wants to show up, that's cool too. Like I said, not expecting that, but let's see what happens. All right, guys. Well, I'm almost back to the boat launch. I'm still fishing. I haven't seen much, okay, it's, it's just, as soon as I was about to say I haven't seen much on the fish finder, two fish show up on the fish finder. But I uh, haven't really had any bites or anything like that. But I'm gonna keep throwing the lure in until I get back. But just wanted to say thanks for coming along. I uh, hope you guys had fun, I had fun. Uh, make sure to go and like, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. Go check out uh, onlineoutfitters.ca uh, and get your own fishing, fishing finder, find fishing. Fish finder, fish finder, fish finder. That's it. It's been a long day. Anyways, like, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next adventure.